Hi, I'm Steve Stewart. I'm one of the co-founders of Best. I want to explain today how royalties work for the artist. A lot of the questions that we see in the chat rooms and that I get every day is how does an artist make money? And I don't know that people understand quite how it works. Um, royalties have been collected in music in the United States since the 1900s. And it's a very established system. It works in a very traditional way. Obviously, we're going to work within that system and at some point disrupt it. But let me explain to you how it works generally if you already have a song out and you're an artist, okay? There are three basic basket of rights, right? One is called the master rights. That is a record or CD that's the physical recording of a song. It's usually administered by a label. So if, if you have a label, they're going to own your master rights. The second and third are comprising what's called copyright. Okay, so this is master and this is called copyright. Copyright's broken into writer share and publisher share. Now, if you have no label and no publishing deal, you're going to own your own masters, you're going to own your own writer share and own your own publishing share. And those monies, you have to register with different, uh, what's called performing rights organizations around the world. You can collect these monies directly and you can collect the master anytime you sell a record or a CD or a tape, however you're selling a physical product. But let's imagine, for instance, that you're an artist and you have a record deal and maybe even a publishing deal, okay? So here's a play from your song, a radio, a club, or any kind of live show. So anywhere in the world that your music is used, anytime you hear on the radio, anytime it's streamed, anytime it's played in a bar or a club or a live show, those venues, those places are paying a fee. They're paying a licensing fee to the local performing rights organization. They're called PROs. And they're about 140 countries around the world. The US has ASCAP, BMI, CSAC and GMR. There's four in America. These are the two biggest ones, ASCAP and BMI. Most American writers are affiliated with one of these. So these, one of these two companies will collect your performing rights money from everywhere in the world that your song is used. That money comes in through ASCAP and PMI. Half of it goes to you as a writer. Half of it goes to you as a publisher. Now, if you don't have a co-publishing deal, both of these will go directly into you as an artist. If you have a publisher like a Sony ATV or a BMG, it's actually called a co-publishing deal, they generally will take half of this income on the publishing side and keep that as their fee. The other half goes directly to you. So what you would collect if you do have a recording deal, if you do have a publishing deal, would be master royalties that are earned from sales of records and CDs. The label collects this for you. They take their cut, which is generally 85 to 90%. And then they pay through the difference to you as an artist. If you have publishing, which, which you do if you wrote the songs, then any monies that are collected from radio plays, clubs, uh, any kind of digital streaming, any live show, goes to a performing rights organization in whatever territory it's played or used in. And then it's collected in the US because you're a US writer by ASCAP or BMI. And ASCAP and BMI pay directly to you as a writer, which goes to you. And they also pay directly to you as a publisher. If you have a pub deal, half of that publishing money goes to your publisher and the other half goes to you. And the second part of this, I'm gonna explain how Vest works for you as an artist to make money.